Welcome to ActEx at a conference. Today we're going to show you how to make the most out of sessions you attend using ActEx. And we know the first thing you have to do is actually download presentations and files shared with you on the conference website. So we're going to show you how to do exactly that. We're going to go to a presentation we've already opened and depending on the browser, the export is going to be a little bit different, but we're pretty sure you can find your way around that. So what you have to do in Safari, for example, is you tap, you press more and then you press copy to ActEx. So now the file is imported into ActEx and what you have to do is choose a session to store it in. Sessions are our versions of folders with documents, presentations, photos, etc. So we've already created one, we called it conference, you press done, and now you can see your file has been imported. You can also find it under sessions, under conference, there's your file, and there's a thumbnail view of all the slides that are part of the file or the presentation. You can easily scroll like that through all the pages, and we're going to show you some main and important features in ActEx that make it unique and allow you to extract the most out of the sessions you attend. So one of those uh, would be the text notes that you can add. You can add those to every single slide of a presentation. So you can really focus your thoughts on the source that inspired them. So I'm just going to put a generic note that you might have put yourself and now if you turn like that and go to that kind of view you can see in your pages feed there's your note right now another thing that you can see in the feed is a very unique feature to actex which is actions from over here you can create those so this is kind of like our version of a task uh, but it's great because you don't just create a task, you can actually delegate it to other people and you can attach the file or the presentation that inspired it. So you can actually elaborate on your idea of how to m make a certain idea come to reality. So we press on that and let's say um, my text note uh, made me think that I want somebody to research really more on that. Um, I give it a priority of A. And then here, for example, if I press, I can choose a lead from my contact list. Uh, and then I can also choose people to be involved. And once that's created, I can send an email to all of the people that I want involved. Uh, and the great part is, as I have mentioned, you can actually send a document that inspired all of that. So let's say I think just the one page is enough. I'm choosing to send that and then I can send all of the notes and annotations that I've created according to uh, my judgment. And then you can also select the quality and a great part of our actions features um, is the ICS option here. So you can attach to the email an ICS file which is going to make it easy for every person involved to attach the action as part of their calendar service. So nobody forgets about the task at hand and everything becomes a reality eventually. So once you press send you're going to get to an email template and uh, from there on you can just type in your message the way you like it. So that's another great feature of Actex uh, and we want to show you something else if you're pretty sure some of you get very frustrated with over time. So let's say uh, sometimes you're at a session and you get your package, but certain slides from the presentation are not part of the package, but the presenter does show them. So you really want to capture that. And we believe that that's quite important. So we've added a separate uh, photo app in Actex so you can do that without going out of the application and without stopping your workflow. So if you press over here where there's a little camera button, uh, you'll be able to get into our camera app feature. And I've prepared a very simple mind map just to show how the feature works. So you just press over here the big white button, you take a photo and you choose to use the photo. Now the great part about this is that this photo has now become a part of your presentation. So you don't have to go out of the application, you don't have to import it, nothing like that. It's already part of the slides uh, and you can just work straight on it. So you can uh, annotate on it, um, you can add the text notes that we've showed you, actions that we showed you. It's as if it was part of the presentation itself. Uh, and another great feature which is similar to that uh, is you can add blank pages. So much like the photo, you can just add a blank space for you to write on, like a digital notebook. And uh, the reason I wanted to show you that is because these are the features that we believe are the crucial ones you need to make the most out of conferences. But if you decide, you can learn more about Actex on actex.com and you can find a lot of our features there. Um, and also on our YouTube channel, you can watch more videos. Uh, so that's one option for you. Uh, and just don't even hesitate with, because Actex is free for 90 days. 
uh, for any new user. So you can try it out, uh, check how you like it, and you can even refer it to other people who you think are going to benefit. And the other great part about ActX is try it out for yourself. Um, it's great for individuals. You can use it beyond the conferences, but the best part is you can actually use it in your company. So we do provide enterprise customizable solutions. So we really uh, want to talk to you about those and see if we can work something out for you uh, so your company can benefit as much as you can benefit as a delegate at a conference. Um, and um, find us either on the App Store or on the Google Play Store. We're available for iOS and Android devices. The end.